Hi, I'm Ola of Solar Guitars and in this video I'm going to show you how to intonate your Evertune bridge. If you haven't seen the previous Evertune videos where I explain the different zones and how to tune your guitar, I will recommend watching those first before attempting to intonate your guitar. Intonation is being done at the intonation screws at the back of the Evertune bridge using the same Evertune key that you tune the whole guitar with. The process of intonating an Evertune bridge is about the same as on any other bridge, but you need to make sure you're in zone 2, almost going into zone 3 when doing this. So if you just put on a new guitar string, make sure to bring it up to zone 2 and tune it properly first before starting intonation. So right now this string is tuned to D right there. The string is in tune, it's time to intonate. To intonate your guitar, you will compare the 12th fret of every string against the same 12th fret harmonic. So this is the 12th fret and this is the 12th fret harmonic right there. If the fretted note is sharp compared to the harmonic, the saddle needs to be brought towards the bridge. Then you turn the intonation screw clockwise like this. If the fretted note is flat compared to the harmonic, just like it is here, you can see the harmonic is D, the fretted 12th is flat to D. That means that the saddle has to be brought towards the neck. Turn the intonation screw counterclockwise. Also, when you're doing the adjustments, go back to the tuning peg at the headstock and make sure you're still in zone 2, okay? Sometimes when making too big of adjustments, you might fall out of zone 2. You have to make sure to pull it back into zone 2. When a 12th fretted note has the same pitch as the 12th fret harmonic, that's when you have an intonated string. So, 12th fret harmonic versus fretted. And that's an intonated string. And then you just use the same method on all the strings. If you're having problems intonating when using lower tunings, as an example, uh, say you install a 13 to 62 set and tune it down to B, uh, B standard, only to find out that your low B is not intonating. The saddle doesn't seem to have enough intonation room and you can't move the saddle further to properly intonate. The reason for this is not actually at the bridge, it's actually at the nut. If your guitar came tuned to standard E 9 to 46 string gauge, the nut is equipped for this string size. If you're installing much thicker strings, the nut slot will probably not be wide enough to hold the string, increasing the action because the string can't fully sit inside the nut slot. That also leads to the intonation issue you might have. Once the nut is properly filed down and adapted to your current string set, the problem will disappear. That's how you intonate an Evertune bridge. Make sure to watch our other Evertune related videos to learn more about the Evertune. Thank you so much. Bye.